fans i'm gonna check in with you here it's about uh, a little, little after one in the afternoon so the show is uh, all the judging forms have been turned in i'm just gonna pan for you just to let you see how beautiful this scene is this is a large open area in boy scout park in shawnee oklahoma and then really everyone of course parks under the shade trees you see a little red right there uh dw 70 mach 1 mustang and so i'll pan around and let you just see there's cars basically around the entire perimeter of this park of course parked under trees it's, it's the, towards the, it's the end of june uh, there's shade trees of course people are going to park under them so we're gonna we're gonna look at a couple of cars i saw a couple of cars that are pretty rare there's a bunch of british invasion it's not the beatles it's these guys um with a bunch of mgs uh being a nissan fan i i think they're cool that little green spitfire is really cool right there uh but let's just walk around for a second and just videotape people because we can this is not something you see every day this is a five ton um, army utility truck not a deuce and a half it's a five ton i talked to that guy he bought it at a army surplus auction and uh, repainted it here's a really awesome roadrunner I'm going to show you a couple of my road runners though for the Mopar fans. Here's a CUDA 340 Magnum. Red with the white stripes. Could use a touch up on the paint, but <clears throat> everyone can't afford all that. We're going to keep walking. I think I've got two uh, really rare uh, 446 pack, which is three two barrel carburetors are and we're gonna go look at them so just hang with me this is a fairly exquisite thunderbird a 1956 very well done engine bay beautiful 1956 thunderbird gorgeous there's that and we keep walking I had to walk around to judge cars as a contestant judge show <clears throat> and uh, got a chance to see a couple of cars that I liked basically was looking for the ones on the uh, on my form to judge and pick And so we're seeing some pretty cool this is a three two barrel setup right here on this impala let's see what year this is this is a 61 impala very clean i think i saw that guy at another car show here we go now check out this roadrunner he needed something to trade in they won't give him nothing for his old 59 Ford pickup and uh, I said take it well I had a 62 in Palmer anyway so you know I don't care about the smell and right next to it this is a uh, this is a super B which is very similar body style to the uh, to the Roadrunner, also a 440 Magnum six pack, which means there are three two barrel carburetors under that. Very cleaner, super big, very clean. So I want to show you that. Uh, let's go look at this. Not every day you see a trike like this one. It's kind of a says taxi, but really 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 cool it's a 72 vw trike what are you gonna say except that's really something you don't see every day <clears throat> plus i don't know if that's a miniature coffin or looks like a treasure chest from the pirates of the caribbean with a u.s flag draped over it so not 
don't really know what to tell you, but we're going to walk over here and look at this. This is worth walking for. Check this out. This is super bad. This is as bad as it gets. Look at that motor. Of course, that's not the original motor. It's a late model Chevy LS motor. But look how this is done. Low rider. I think he has nitrous on here at all, or no, no, no nitrous. <laughs> I think he does have it. Uh, he or she. Look at those fender skirts. Can barely see the back tire. It's a 1947 Chevy Fleetmaster. Very, 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 very beautiful, rare, and just a super crazy. Um, low rider and we'll want to get a shot of this for you because we'll be at their show next month illegal toys they're one of the biggest low rider clubs they're all super creative and super cool people we hung out with them and at the we go world series show in ardmore uh oklahoma in uh i think it was the first part of march but check out this this is a really crazy 1937 gmc truck it's just it's pristine it's perfect it could not be more perfect i'm not an old car fan i really am not but sometimes i have to just respect something when it's as perfect as this so you just have to see cars like this in this case this truck to believe that it can still exist it it looks like it just came off the showroom in 1937 but it's not 1937 so we'll just pan more cars and what we're doing right now is we're wanting shade <laughs> where's the shade it's up that way so we'll walk a little more we'll walk work our way back to the z do some more shots maybe see an interesting car too i can't remember if there was one here on the back row that i liked Two four barrel setup. I think it's a 77, it is a 77 bet with two four barrels. Big block. Absolutely clean 64 Mustang. Just looks like it just drove off the showroom floor. Look at that. It's amazing. There's some really really crazy cool cars here <laughs> the barbecue place we ate at and we're going to show you this needs a little work on the Thing, but this is an extremely rare maybe one of the rarest cars here that truck we just looked at is extremely rare but so is this i think it's a, a 65 or 66 Plymouth barracuda it's just very rare they just don't even exist 
69 Barracuda engine bay could use love if you wanted it to win on other than the fact that it's a 69 Cuda and they're just non-existent um, 340 Magnum beautiful very very cool Dodge truck 56 I'm not, like I said, I'm not a truck guy, but you have to give respect to people that put in that kind of work. And then this, this rod right here, it's a 40 Ford. This is really small block motor. It's just really cool. I and mean, it didn't just go crazy with the paint, but on the front, flames on the front, on the hood and on the front fenders, it's really nice. And that's kind of what we're going to do for this walkthrough.